Yes, people, welcome back to the channel. We're here in Betsy's Bikes, the number one motocross shop. We're doing today a tyre review, seeing as though you all love the boot review, which turned out City's being the best. But we're back. We can't go on a bike yet because we've got no immune system, so we're getting better. Oh, yeah, update on people what's happened to you. So basically, an update is uh, went to Indonesia racing, got a bug on my last day, came home. Went to hospital because I was like knackered. They treated me. They treated me with the wrong antibiotics, which gave me an infection called C. diff. Um, absolutely wrote me off, so I was in hospital for nearly a week. We're slowly on the mend. Lost a ton of weight, so we can't go on the bike yet. We've got to get better. We've got to get fitter. So for now, we're just getting back to work. I think it's only my second full day back in work. So we're going to do some reviews for you. Um, so you've got some good content, you've got some good knowledge about some actual decent things because, so you're not just buying rubbish. I mean, in this shop we only really stock good stuff anyway in terms of tyres, mooses, anything like that. Good durable items. Um, so today we are going to talk about different tyres and the compounds, the durability and affordability. So, starting off. We'll go with the Kenda Gnarly tyre. This tyre comes in a 140-80-18. The reason it comes in a 140-80-18 is for more ground surface. So we've got more traction on the ground, or more tyre on the ground at all times, getting us that ultimate traction. This is an extreme tyre. It's super soft, proper gummy. I'd probably use this at most um, extreme races. Probably would have been a mega tyre at Erzberg if you just watched Erzberg because it's actually super soft and it lasts quite a while this tyre. Um, really good tyre, it's affordable, that's one of the main things. I won't tell you prices yet, you have to wait to the end to get all the prices for the tyres. I'll tell you one by one at the end of the video. Um, yeah, Ken Denali, probably rate probably 8 out of 10. Really good gummy tyre, definitely um, coming onto the scene a lot more seeing as old Michelin stuff you can't really get them so if you're looking for an ideal affordable really good tyre then Ken Denali is your tyre and you can get them right here in store so moving on I'll probably talk about now the Midas double green we'll probably go through extreme tyres first and then I'll go down to a standard tyre yeah. might have a spill here Dan might have a spill Oh, he's boxed it off, hasn't he? Whoa! You see that? See it. Can't use too much energy, though. Oh, don't fall. You know, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. Oh, it's all right. Air flick. <laughs> right, so, Midas, double green. Most of us will now be onto a Terra Force double green, but. Like we say, there's a shortage on tyres, so they don't have Terra Force double greens in anymore. Uh, I think that was a ghost. Or I've had a mouse or a rat. I don't know. But there's some right. But anyway, there's no Terra Force double greens, so these have been used for ages anyway, and it's an absolute brilliant tyre. Um, my US EFO 7 double green absolute mega tyre wet dry cold warm anything this tyre is a really good tyre also comes in 140 80 18 again you find most um, good tyres in extreme come in 140 80 18 you got a Greg? oh yeah yeah man okay let's bring it in here yeah that is my Greg. there you go have thank a you. nice day yeah, yeah thank we'll, you, I'll have a better day now got me got me Greg's I'm not eating shit though, I bought a chicken, a chicken salad from Greg's. I'll put it Yeah, right, open it, let's see. <laughs> that, that's a big bag for a chicken salad. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Anyway, absolute mega tyre. The compound is, is soft, but these are actually firmer. They do last quite a while. Like, you will get, the tyre will not wear so much in one race. Like, you probably get two races out of a spin. Um, I'd probably rate this a 9 out of 10 because it's just such a good tyre. A 9 uh, out of 10? They have developed it, obviously, to make it more like the Michelin, but 
these are still running so well like I know so many people that are still using this tire and they're actually really affordable which nobody I don't think knows um, everyone's just jumping on their Michelin extremes when this is such a good tire and probably half the price so this is really up there for me um, I've used it a lot of times in the past the only thing I do find with a Midas tire is that it, it flattens out so instead of staying to shape like it should it flattens it squares off quite much um, and they just start to look ugly and feel heavy on the back of the bike so that's the only bad point about this tire um, other than that mega tire my us ef07 double green thank you good tire moving forward We'll go to the king of extremes now. This is a tyre I run pretty much every extreme event. Billy Bolt uses it every extreme event. Graham Jarvis uses it every extreme event. So, you know, it's, it's, it's the bollocks. I'll just move the, the done tyres over here. I think they wrote a note on you, Greg's. I was just looking at it then. What if they wrote? Ah, my chicken salad's on a baguette now. One thing I haven't mentioned before I get onto this Mitchell Extreme is the Kenda comes with the matching tyre, which I'll just take a swift pause there on that tyre there and we'll jump back a step. Kenda comes with matching front tyre, gnarly. This comes in at 90 by 90, 21. Normally run 90 by 100. But these don't come in 90 to be 100. What is the 100 and what's the difference between the 100 and the so 90? The, the, it's the, that is the width of the tyre. So 99 is a thinner tyre. Normally you run, run a thinner tyre in like motocross and stuff so you can actually ride in the ruts a lot better and it doesn't push you out of them. In enduro, an extreme enduro, you want that extra surface area, more, more um, traction on the floor constantly. So you run a 9900, but unfortunately Kendra only do 9090, but it's still a really good, sticky, grippy tyre. I mean, you can't complain. Uh, it's actually grippier than a lot of front tyres I've dealt with before. Um, I find it tracks the ground really well, but they do run, they do wear slightly faster than, um, say, a Michelin. So yeah, just quickly run through that. Um, very affordable as a set of tyres. So yeah, the 1991 Kendanali, overall good tyre, and that's the set. That is a really good combo for beginners as well because it's affordable as you're getting into the sport and super grippy, so it'll help you. You won't be slipping as much basically when you try to learn. Right, moving on to the king. I just, oh, I just even love the smell. I could eat it. I won't I bet it's eat left it. teeth marks in it, it's that soft. I won't eat it actually because it's be the most expensive meal I've ever had. <laughs> so, Michelin Medium Extreme Tire, the king of extreme enduro tires. Um, it's a beautiful piece of art. It actually feels like chewing gum when you're touching it. I probably, if it weren't so heavy, I reckon if you pushed it to your face, it'd stick. <laughs> like, it's the absolute daddy. The compound of it is just made of like a, a gummy material. Like, see, because of my there fat fingers, yeah. Like, the, the compound is actually made of a, a sticky, tacky material, which is, it's, it's just so good. Like, tyres have come on so far in probably the past 10 years. Like, it's just elevating the game, giving us bigger chances to try harder stuff because you're a lot more reliant on what's on your back wheel. Like, say, if you've got such a big rock step and it's got slippy rock on it, you know that when you land on that slippy bit that you're going to have traction whereas back in the day you're going to land on there and hopefully skill helps more than a tyre um, it's a really soft compound getting like just look at that and look how it comes back out so sticky it's like this is just game changing like the, the, sounds like you want to marry it i do want to marry it <laughs> the, the, the technology that's going into this tyre is absolutely amazing. Um, they are definitely not affordable. If you want to <laughs> get broke, ride extreme with these on, um, and you'll soon be skint. I think these are actually like 
140 quid at the minute. Yeah, I think he's actually 140 quid at the minute. Who would want to pay that? Like, who? Luckily enough, I've got a sponsor called um, Hellstone Breakers from Pete Etson, and he's been supplying me these bad boys, so thank you, Pete. So, yeah. I don't think I can big the tyre up anymore. That's Mitchley Medium Extreme, 148 to 18. Brilliant tyre. Win races, lose your money in your bank account. What, what moose would you put with it? And from it? I've got a moose actually that I'd put with it. Do you want me to go and get it? Yeah. Oh yeah, go and get your moose. I've got one. Oh, I buried a moose in um, for Indonesia. So I'll just go and get that now, what I was going to race with, but obviously. Fella. We're back. Okay. I don't really want to touch this that much because it's been in some horrible rivers in Indonesia. But I know it's lost, it's lost shape a bit because I've had it stuffed inside, like just to save space really. But it'll go straight back to shape once I have it in the wheel. So this is a Michelin Bib Moose, um, 128 to 18. Very nice and soft. I mean, that's only four, five five rides old and some some of it was a bit of road riding as well from um because we had to ride to a different checkpoint in the race so there was quite a lot of road miles done on it so it got quite hot but that that moose i would put straight in that tire and race and what are them holes in it what holes i don't know just some holes i can't see no holes in that damn hello can you see <laughs> What are the holes? The holes are what I've drilled in. I do actually sell a moose drill. Why do you drill the holes? <coughs> Fuck. I can't breathe that in, Dan. <coughs> Why? That stinks, that. Why do you drill the holes? I drill the so, holes... Uh, I think you should open one of them boxes and show what they actually come like. Cause, and why would you use a moose and not an inner tube? I'll open this one. Why, and why would you use a moose and not an inner tube? Because who would ever want to get a puncher? You just won't want what if you get a punch you're out your race, aren't you? You're out the race. Pointless. Um I do want to look in that Greg's box though. Just You have to buy that now. The stuff we do. Why would they tape it though? Right. Stop people like me, doesn't it? Got a moose eventually. Yeah. Make sure you're subscribing and that and liking the like the, the video though, because I've just opened a, a very expensive box. <laughs> if someone and wants it, it shipping out, shipping out now. Yeah. <laughs> if someone wants to buy this moose, then just let us know and I'll uh, print that out. We'll shrink wrap it. Fucking, we'll get this in the post box <laughs> outside. Shrink wrap it up. Um, but that's what a moose looks like, and that's what me, we make them look like. It's not the neatest of drilled, but I did do it in a very big rush. <laughs> so you've got to bear, bear with. So that's the moose I'd put in that tyre. And I'd probably put that in this tyre. And that would last you a lot longer. And that would last you a lot longer, yeah. This not don't last so long. So now you all know what one of our racing mooses look like. You know what standard moose looks like. So we'll move forward. Don't forget to put a bit in the comments. Make sure you comment and make sure you like the video and subscribing because that's just cost me a lot of money to open that box. I'm meant to sell that now. One of your viewers got to buy it. Um, moving forward to now, um, not an extreme tyre, just a, more like a, a fast enduro tyre or just an all-round enduro tyre. Road the, legal. A road legal enduro tyre. One, it's not going to fall apart on your first ride. Um, it's grippy. It's durable, affordable, well, some are affordable, but mm. some aren't, um, and just all around, probably the best tyres that you can buy. Um, so, coming up is the Midas, have that carcass, Midas Terra Force, single green, 148-18, again, more surface area being the 148-18. This tyre, it's like a medium compound, not so squishy like compared to the other ones you can't really but well, you can twist the outer nobbles actually but 
um, this is a, a really good overall tyre. It's kind of like the version of a Michelin medium. The really good, very grippy. But like I say, with my, I always find after you got the use out of them, they, they tend to spread instead of staying like a tyre shape. Um, that's that's the only downfall for a Midas, but other than that, they're a really good tyre and they're quite affordable. Um, I enjoy them, I've always rode them. Um, if I can't get a Michelin, I get a Midas straight away. Um, you see most boys riding these, just most practicing, like it's just a good practice tyre all around. If you practice one of these, you, you're not going to go wrong and it'll last you a while. So, yeah, that's the Midas. Uh, Sorry. That is the Midas Terra Force single green, very good tyre. They do do this in a double green but they haven't got any in stock at the minute um, and I'll show you the front tyre now. So this is the Midas Terra Force single green front tyre. This is actually a really good front tyre, um, big nobbles, plenty of grip in the mud. Um, and like I was saying before, it comes in, this is a 900 by 21 more surface area on the ground for the front wheel. I, I think this is like a proper grippy good for mud kind of tyre um, quite sticky so a good all round front tyre really so that set is probably middle range for price um, and yes yeah, last you quite a while last you quite a while just an overall good set of tyres um, probably 9 out of 10 for them to um, being just a good all round tyre for whatever you want to do really you could ride motocross with this tyre could ride fast enduros sprint enduros and extreme enduros all with just these tyres right moving swiftly on um, we're on to the daddies of daddy tyres now the Michelin mediums you can see in front of me I will get one I need to wash my hands after touching that Daniel I'll get this in front of us this Michelin medium it's a tyre of choice that I use no matter where I go um, motocross, enduro, fast enduro, sprints, slippy sprints, rocky sprints, anything I use this tyre and I use like for faster stuff I use a Michelin bib moose in it with, which is a 140-80-18 moose um, and for softer stuff I just use a standard 120-80-18 like you see there um, this tyre, the, the compound's really good it's quite soft but durable like these do last quite a while and you can flip them as well so once you flip them you get another I, I don't know you get quite a lot of life out of what it what do you mean anyway. by flipping them? alright right. yeah <laughs> so the tyre has direction has arrows going around to which way it should travel M's facing you um, and then once it's once you've took that edge away you then flip the tyre and then you've got an edge again it's not very good for going downhills, you lose all your traction for going downhills, but who needs brakes when they're going downhills? You're going downhill. You need the traction going uphill, don't you? You do. It's clear. Um, so yeah, Mitchell in medium, best tyre for pretty much everything I'd find. Um, with them, with the Mitchell in mooses you can't really go wrong. Um, you'll just get an all round good feel for the bike. Like you'll feel in the corners, you'll feel actual bumps and what whether you're slipping here, slipping there, or you're tracking. Um, it's not the most affordable at the minute. This is a really short supply of them. We're lucky enough to have a good supply. Um, so if you did need Mitchell Mediums, we can get as many as you want, when you want, and ship them out. So that's a bonus for us. Um, moving on, you got the front tire. I rate it a 10 out of 10, Dan. Yeah? Yeah. Good tyre, that. Good tyre. You know it's a good tyre, don't yeah, you? I know it's a good tyre. Dan's tire. actually got Rob one of my part ones. Yeah. Well, you know. Love a part one. Love a part one. Go on, get it out. I told you, Dan. Got Ooh. no energy. Mitchell the Medium. 921. This is just like such a good front tyre. It's nice and squishy. It's got these to the. Do you know what these are? I don't know what they are. They, they're mud deflectors. Mud deflectors. So as you're riding through the mud, they, they're meant to deflect the mud away from the oh. tyre. Learn something every day, mm. Daniel. Um, I'll watch it next so time. So the M's. Doing it. Um, this tyre, again, 900 mega for surface area. These are really good on rocks. 
Um, although it's a 900 tyre, in most Enduro, like extreme side, we run an actual 9090 21 moose in, so it's slightly smaller, so it's actually got a bit of a plush feel to it, so it'll be quite soft. So it will have a bit of pushing in, um, just to get extra traction on the rocks with a front wheel. Um, if you're riding faster stuff, then you obviously put a 900 moose in, so it's solid and got actual traction when you're going faster into the corners it's not going to fold or flex on you because we all know what happens when a tyre flexes don't we Dan? We do. You end up in hospital because it's happened to me. Um, I think it digs in the ground quite well. That's yeah the... it does it's just this is the all round daddy of a front tyre I don't think there's many front tyres that can compete with it um, whether you're mud, rock, um, shale anything like that this this will um, it'll track it'll grip um, I rate this a 10 out of 10, like this tyre combo, it's probably the, the all time favourite, but like we say, the short supply and the aren't the cheapest um, on the market, but we've got a good supply, we've got a good supply, they last long so you can fetch the budget out and you're going to get grip, one thing I can say about tyres is, if you're looking at your back tyre and you think, oh, it's a bit bald that, right? This is your hobby, this is your passion, you're gonna go out to have a good day. So why would you not just spend the extra money on a bit of grip and not fall off all day? Like, I can't stress it enough. And blame your tyre. Yeah, I see so many people um, going to Calm Quarry, going out, or not necessarily Calm Quarry, just, every, I see so many people going out on the bike, right? And they try to get up a, a hill and they, they're just falling constantly, slipping, dropping the bike, can't get set off. And you look at the back tyre and it's bald and you're like, mate, you've paid £30 or £35 to come and ride. You've paid 40 quid maybe in diesel at the minute. A tenner on food. You might have a tube in as well. And you've just gone to a track and you've rolled for five minutes. You've got a puncher or you can't get up the first hill because you've got a bald tyre. Like, if you can't afford a decent tyre then, I'd probably say try and hold off going to all these places, get a good tyre on your bike and you have such more fun on your bike, like I can't stress that enough. Daniel Butler said that to me once because I did ride part, I ride part ones but I like the challenge. I mean I do, I do have the option to put a new tyre on but with racing every other weekend you tend to practice on a rubbish tyre and a rubbish moose and it, it benefits when you do put a good one on but I mean I'm talking about just the hobby riders, people that like going out at the weekend practicing you want an half decent tyre on, whether it be a Kenda, Mi Michelin, Midas, anything like that. I'd say probably Kenda's are good for a hobby hobby ground like level, um, just because they're affordable and you can change it more often and have a good day out. Um, but that's my little rant on. Don't go out with a rubbish tyre or a tube knowing that it could pop or you're going to have a rubbish day because you're just wasting money in the overall effect and you won't enjoy the time on your bike which you want that is the main goal at the end of the day we're all here to have a good time with our mates on our bikes and the crashes are funny don't get me wrong but you don't want to be that guy that can't get up an hill do you so yeah that's um, a big point from me oh, well, right people so the Michelin's retail 180 pounds for the set not too bad but it's quite steep we've got the Midas bloody Midas Hundred and sixty pounds. Hundred and sixty. Not bad at all, Daniel. Not, Not bad. bad at all. Affordable. And then next up, oh, got the Kenders. Hundred and forty quid. I mean, you can't argue with that, can you, Dan? Can't argue with that. If you want to order them, just let me know. Sort you out, you know what I mean? Not too much, but to sort you out on that. The dreaded. The dreaded. Mitchell Medium Extreme. £140. On its own. On its own. <laughs> Mighty CFO 7, double green. £75. Very affordable. So. That concludes today's video. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I hope you liked the video. I hope you subscribed. If you've not, you're clearly a dosser. 
Um, and hopefully we're back on the bike soon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.